Hi YouTube family, I'm bringing you my powders today. I wanted to ask you before we get started is I am thinking about doing a Q&A for you guys because I know that we've talked a lot when you guys are commenting, we talk a lot about different things and I thought it might be kind of fun. And if a Q&A is something that you guys want to do, why don't you go ahead and start maybe asking me a few questions. I will mention it in the next couple of videos. I think I have about five more declutter videos but I'm going to post them like a couple a day for the next little while so we can get completely through them before I get in front a camera and you can tell today I am feeling quite a bit better. I finally did get rest quite a bit today which was lovely. <laughs> I really appreciate getting being able to sleep and I haven't been able to for such a long time. So um, if you're new to my channel will you please subscribe by clicking the red button below and hit the bell that's next to it so that you can be um, notified of any future video videos that I might be having. I am just going to start with whatever is in front. We're going to move to the back. This right here is um, a NYX Hashtag no filter and this is a finishing powder and I actually this color is in light beige And I actually really do like this very much um, You can tell right there that it's very um, Like almost on the yellowy side, but then you put it on your skin and it just gives more of a brightening effect to it And so I really do enjoy having this powder. I think I'm going to keep it a while longer This is the Laura Geller baked balance and brighten foundation in this this one is in Fair. I used to absolutely love her um, foundations just so much on the, the powder ones. However, I don't use this that much anymore. I It's very, very dry. Um, her baked products are very dry. And so I think that I might be going to go ahead and get um, rid of this one just because I don't reach for it ever. Plus, this is Kayla's exact, my daughter Kayla's exact color. And I'm sure that she could use that one. This is from Josie Marin. And this one is the Luminous Hydrating Liquid Powder. Not only did it was supposed to have a illuminating effect to it, but it was supposed to be like encapsulated water in here. I found that this had an absolute ton of sparkle in it. Can you guys see how sparkly? You can't see how sparkly that is. Um, let's see if the camera will pick that up or not. Okay, so hopefully you can see a little bit of how shimmery it is. It's extremely sparkly. So for a fish fishing, a finishing powder, it just didn't quite work for me because it was just one of those that, um, you know, I don't, I don't like having sparkle all over my face. Um, I don't mind a little bit of a sheen or a nice finish, but, um, the sparkle's not great. So I think I'm going to declutter that one. Okay. This one right here is a Kat Von D. This is a translucent setting powder. I just barely got this. I haven't had a chance to work with this. I got it during the Sephora VIB sale. It looks beautiful. It looks very much like the Laura Mercier powders that everybody has and that everybody uses. Uses. So I'm excited to get to use this. I will let you guys know um, how that one works out for me. And speaking of Laura Mercier, I have those right here. Um, there are three of them. This one is the translucent powder and you guys have seen that a million times. So I'm not going to open that, but I'm going to keep that one for sure. This is the under eye setting powder and this is just so micro fine. It is just, oh my goodness, it's so I can't even begin to describe how fine that is. One of um, you gals, I don't remember which one you are, but one of you said that, um, okay, so it says secret brightening powder for under eyes. One of you said to be careful with this because it has um, the lighting effect in it and when you're taking pictures, it shows back at you um, in the HD cameras and stuff like the flashback. And so yeah, I wanna keep this one, but yes, thank you for that tip. I did appreciate it <laughs> and I will watch for that. This one is her candlelight um, and this is the mineral illuminating powder this one is in candlelight so this one as you can see is quite a bit darker and this one does have quite a bit of shimmer in it now I don't notice that this one has like any oh look at that wow okay that will need to be used very sparingly but um, that it doesn't seem to have like glitter particles in it like the Josie Marin one did so I'm excited to get to use that one but I will only be using it probably maybe even just for a highlighter it probably belongs in my highlighter drawer instead of here in my setting powders but yeah I haven't even had a chance to use that one as a highlighter. In cosmetics 
Your Skin But Better CC Airbrush Perfecting Powder Sheer to Full Coverage Optical Blurring Finishing Veil. Oh my goodness, can we have any more words there? Okay, so this one is in the color light and um, this one is pretty much just almost like a powder foundation. Even though I've had this for a while, I haven't used it enough, but it's really buttery. It's very creamy and I think that on days when it was really hot outside, this might be really nice to have just for a light dusting around your face and then you know your makeup wouldn't melt off so bad so I'm gonna keep this one for a while this is the Becca um, this one is soft light blurring powder and this one is in golden hour and uh, this has kind of a funny lid okay it's it's square uh, obviously but um, it's really really tight so as you pull it you just twist it just partly. So this one I actually haven't had a chance to work with either, but look at the illuminating property in that one. Now this one was the Laura Mercier, but this one is the Becca, and that is just a very, very soft, there's not any like shimmer in that, there's not any glitter in it at all. I am really excited to get to work with that, especially for the summertime when you have a little bit more of a tan and you can get your glow on with that. And I'm sorry that so many of these are new, but during the VIB sale and the 20% off at Ulta, I kind of stocked up because I hadn't tried very many different powders. But yeah, so that's my excuse on that one. This one right here is the Too Faced. Um, this is fairly new to me too, but um, this is called Primed and Poreless. It's Skin Smoothing Pressed Powder. If you've ever had the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Powder, it is almost an identical thing to that. And I don't know where my Bye Bye Powder is because I usually have it and it, it I actually have hit pan on that one as I swatch that you can see that there is just absolutely nothing on there you can't see anything from it it's just the most wonderful um, powder to diminish pores and make your makeup just look really soft and flawless I really love having this one this one you guys again this is going to be a tough one for me to be able to get rid of stuff because I just I have a hard time with getting rid of these. Okay, so next up right here in front is the e.l.f. under eye setting powder. Now I know that this one does not have the illumination in it like the other one did, but oh my goodness, that is so fine. This powder, that is milled so finely. So if you are looking for something for under your eyes that will set it down and not give you like a really cakey look to it, this is fantastic. I'm not getting rid of this one either because I really do like that one. Um, I've used that one a ton. This one right here is from Lancome. This is the Absolute Powder. Um, it doesn't have a T in it. That's why I said it that way. <laughs> this is a Radiant, let's see, Radiant Smooth powder and this one is in absolute golden and you guys I bought this because of Jacqueline Hill one time I was watching her favorites and she had this on there and wow it just it kind of really just shocked me how beautiful it was this powder it, even though it says golden hour there's nothing gold about it it is very pink um, hopefully I can get the camera to pick that up for you it's extremely pink but it is so oh my gosh it's just so I can't even explain what it is. It's a lot like the hour, not the hourglass, the Becca one, but it's more of a pink color to it. So it just, it gives you this lit from within look all over your face. You don't have to use it as a setting powder. I use it as a light dusting powder. And it's just, it's gorgeous for, it does exactly what it says. It gives you radiance and it smooths your skin. This is so nice. This was a pricey little number, but I have used this um, for almost a year now and I have hardly made a dent in it. And it's one of my very favorites. So I'm going to be keeping that one. This one is the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. And I got this because of Emily Noel. I love this powder, you guys. If you are an aging woman and you have very dry skin, you should try this powder because it has hyaluronic acid or hyaluronic water encapsulated in it also. And it, again, look how smooth it is. You can barely even tell how fine it is and how luxurious it is. And I have had this one for a long time too, and I have barely made a dent in it whatsoever. But what this does, I noticed that this powder, it will go on a little bit drier when you're beginning to work with it at the you know at the very start and you kind of will feel like it feels a little bit dry but as the day goes on I swear this powder will 
like make whatever it's on, whether it's your whole face or whether it's on just your under eyes, it will make it look more hydrated and more smooth. And this one is a little bit more expensive also, so I'm not gonna be getting rid of that one. I really do love that one. There is also in here one from Tarte, and this one is, you can tell I've kind of hit pan on it. However, I, as my skin has changed this year with different things, I've noticed this is called the Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Tinted Pressed Finishing Powder in Light. And I, what I was gonna say is I've noticed that my skin has, uh, it's not really liking this too much. Even though this is fairly um, a light powder, it is just, it, it feels drying on my skin. I don't know any other way to put it. So I've been kind of just pushing this to the back of my collection um, because I just felt like it was just a bit too dry for me. So I'm gonna be decluttering that one. I haven't even opened this one yet. This is the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Powder. I just barely bought this during the sale. Um, like I said, I haven't even opened it yet. I think I have taken, no, I haven't even taken the little tape off of there. Um, but I just really wanted to try this because I assume that because Cover FX does such fantastic things with their drops that this would be very much like, excuse me, I'm gonna kind of do this on my other hand, very much like that Becca powder and I'm absolutely right. That has got just the softest little sheen to it. Uh, some of these I know are going to be so hard to pick up on camera, but I hope that they do a little bit for you guys. So what's nice about this too is it has this little stopper thing in here, and so it's not going to shake everything out, and you can turn it, and you don't have so much coming out and being a mess when you open it every time. But yeah, I'm excited to get to try that one. By the way, that one is in light. I don't know what their other um, illuminating powders are. I think there might be... Um, I don't know, I, I apologize. I'll see if I can flip that up on the screen for you guys. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna keep that one. One that I might gonna be declutter is this Makeup Revolution Luxury Powder Banana uh, Powder, and this is a setting powder. And the reason is, is because I just don't exactly know what to do with this, to tell you the honest truth. I got it, and yeah, it's nice, but I, like I said, it's one of, gosh, do you see all that powder flying everywhere? It's one of those powders that I don't exactly know what they want you to do with it. Now, I used to know, um, back in the olden days, <laughs> <laughs> that um, banana powder was great for setting your under eyes because it um, brightened them. But as like, again, as I get older, I don't like these um, powders that um, dry out that area. So I probably will be decluttering this one and seeing if someone that is younger can get some use out of this. This barely also got this one during the sale. This is the Ultra HD Makeup Forever setting powder. Actually, it's I think it's their translucent powder. Oh, I'm sorry, Micro Finishing Loose Powder. I got this just because I had heard that they had redone their formula and oh my word, you guys, it is just, it is like, it's like air when it goes on. I don't really have an opinion like, yes, you should get this or no, you should stay away from it because I haven't had it long enough. So I'm gonna keep that one and keep trying it. RCMA No Color Makeup Setting Powder. Um, this is what all the pros use. This thing will last you forever, but this is super duper fine. Like the e.l.f. Um, under eye setting powder, it reminds me so much of that because it's just, it's uber fine. It's beyond fine. So this one, I think this one right here is $12. You cannot beat that price and it will set down your makeup. It will blur your pores. It will, it does everything and it's so it's so nice. I, I really do like this one very much. I will not be getting rid of that this one. This powder right here is called a, uh, this is one by Kose. I think that's how you say it. Skin Color Water Luxe Cool Powder Finishing, Finish Powder. And when you put this on, when you put this powder on the first time, it still has a stopper in it because I didn't want it to make a mess. When you put this powder on the first time, you actually feel that encapsulated water go over your skin. It almost feels tacky when you put it on. And I'm not impressed with this at all. Um, my only thing is when I got this, it cost me a whole ton of money and I'm irritated that I didn't um, you know, take it back in, in the amount of time I needed to. 
I thought this was going to be so good for hydrating like the hyaluronic powder from by Terry, but it is completely different and I don't like this one at all. I actually am going to be getting rid of this one and decluttering this one. I, I don't like this powder at all. I would not recommend it. It is one that really disappointed me. Um, yeah, that's not one that I am very in love with at all. Okay, this one right here is another Jaclyn Hill um, recommendation. This is the Dual Finish um, Matte Setting Powder, or this can also be used as a foundation. And this one is in 210 Claire Neutral. This is, doesn't that look dark, you guys? Okay, I almost thought when I looked at it that it could be used as a bronzer for me in the winter, but as I looked into it, it really is a very, very neutral color. And there's just not any, there's just no color to it at all. And so um, if you were looking for a makeup or anything like that, I just, this one was disappointing as well. And I, I feel bad that it is because again, Lancome is so expensive. But I also think that I'm going to be getting rid of this one. This one would not be good for me as a powder foundation because to build it up it looked chalky. But I wish that I had gotten this in a, you know, they have pink neutral and, or they have yellow neutral and then pink undertone. And I wish I had gotten it in the more golden or yellow undertone. So yeah, this one is one that I'm going to be decluttering because I'm not crazy about the formula on that one too. It always looks chalky when I do use it. So I'm going to be getting rid of that one. I didn't do that great again. This is about like last time you guys. So I kept 14 and I'm getting rid of six. So not bad, not as bad as last time. Um, it's about a third, not quite, but almost a third of what I'm getting rid of. Now, if you guys have any questions about any of these products, please let me know. I don't have a lot of drugstore, but um, uh, let me tell you the e.l.f. setting powder, and I think Kayla has my e.l.f. setting powder. There's an e.l.f. setting powder, fantastic. It comes in a square like this one, and it is so good. And then also Makeup Revolution has a setting powder that is really, really good. It's microfine, super, super nice. That's everything for today's video. Don't forget about leaving me some questions if you want the Q&A from me and let me know what you think about having that video too okay you guys do you have any powders that I don't have I'm sure some of you do <laughs> have powders that I don't have that you like let me know give this video a thumbs up if you would please and share it on your other social media platforms if you're so inclined to do so I love you guys so very much I am going to be um, up and running and out from behind this camera on Monday I promise so I will see you guys in my very next video I love you and I will see you soon. Bye.